Our dignitary who has always been with us anytime we, we organize this kind of youth related uh, activities. In fact, in another fora, without his knowledge, we call him the young old. Ladies and gentlemen, like I rightly mentioned, when we first met, we said, okay, it is high time that you come together to talk to all these young aspirants that are aspiring for any position between the state assembly and up to the presidency. And our objective is very simple. Tell us what you have for us, and we will help you to tell the people what you are doing and what you want to do, and we allow them to choose their choice. Our own is purely an intellectual group. We don't belong to any party. And as we are coming here, we are all Nigerians, regardless of party, religion, tribe, or your political zone. We are all Nigerians. That is why this morning, when one young man saw the post and asked if he could be here, I asked him, so long as you belong within the Nigerian map, you are kindly invited. Ladies and gentlemen, please have time. Listening to these young aspirants, they are going to engage us. We are not here for challenge, we are here for engagement. We won't hear from them. At the end of this place, uh, uh, this activity tonight, we want everybody to go down on his bed with the belief that this is an intellectual discussion. And it is going to continue being the same. But the objective is, after all the questions, after all the engagement, we want to hear a lot more from the contestants. What do they have for the Nigerian masses? We are going to be live from different social platforms. All the partners here are going to hear this thing live, and we will continue to get feedback. We will gather all this feedback, good, bad, and the ugly, and be sending to this contestant for their consumption so that they can take note of that. We also have a hashtag, the Kazuna Debate. It is also going to continue to be live. We will not stop this thing until the very day I make officially declared campaign null and void. Until that day, the hashtag will be available and all of you have the right to contribute. What we want is an intellectual election for 2019, devoid of any sentiment, purely based on who is supposed to be there for us. Ladies and gentlemen, what these contestants are going to mention today, we are going to record it. And after anybody who must have won, we are going to continue using an intellectual platform to follow them, continue to remind them until all the promises they have made here are fulfilled. So on behalf of the team, I thank you very much for coming. And by God willing, we are not going to waste this time. It is going to be valuable and you are going to have the value for money for coming here tonight. While I indulge you to enjoy all the discussion, Please maintain the tiny room of ensuring that your telephones are either switched off or put on silent mode. And the moderator is going to be the chief leader and wheel for the session, while all instructions are going to be taken from him. Until then, I remain Mustafa Shiro and thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for this wonderful welcome address. Um, the next item on the agenda is self-introduction. And on this item, we want each and everyone to introduce himself. We know you have you are, you are choosing because of uh, um, using different means. Maybe likely you are representing your ward. Some people are probably representing civil societies, some professional organizations. So uh, depending on where you are choosing, you are a leader, you are like representing your own community and probably share the word with other people. Uh, may I start the self-introduction? Should I start? <laughs> okay, my name is uh, Kamaluddin Kabir, and uh, I work with uh, Omar Musarado University. I also, I'm also the state coordinator for Transition Monitoring Group, which is TMG. I am also uh, one of the executives for Progress and Development Initiative. I'm also the chairman of Youth Participation in Progressive Development Initiative, all I in the state. Um, Let me be the last My name is Sadiq Bindawa, an editor of online media, Kasla Post. 
My name is Usman Kabobi Nesemdi, Director ICT SK Online Team. So, my name is Usman Kabobi Nesemdi, Director ICT SK Online Team. So, my name is Abu Bakar Al Mustafa Ira Dua, Assistant Editor, Kasala Force. So, my name is Yusuf Hassan Bala, and I am the Secretary of the Kasala Debate Group. My name is Bruno Piesa, I'm a member of the US Progressive Assembly. My name is Kipile Kabur, I'm a member of the United Nations of Water Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is 
So we can't actually do without all. I, I, that's my personal perception. We all have our shortcomings. So we have to be coaching one way or the other. We can't appear to be perfect. But we want a situation whereby and I am why he is so say Chinkapa Tetuakin Yam. That is your useless and this thing yam. That is how we'll change the work. As for him, my um my uh my vernacular is working for it. In kind of household dimension, she looks a little bit as the so he goes. So may I invite Madam Bashir to actually kick on this uh, uh the, the debate, uh which is the main uh, bring behind our meeting for today. Madam Bashir, so. uh, Asalaamu Alaikum once again. Uh, you know the commodity, you know it's uh, vocal and vocal, it's very vocal. You can see as he's talking, he's moving around. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually right. Um, like I said, my name is uh, Shukri, and for the doctor, I'm not a politician. I'm, I read political science. Even my area of profession is, is our complex studies. So I'm not here to track the activities of the contestants. <laughs> but let's go straight uh, forward to our next agenda is the presentation of the rules and mode of the dialogue. Uh, first of all, maybe if you have the leaflets with you, uh, that by the last uh, points we have, that the chairman and moderator shall coordinate the session, which we are doing now, and the atmosphere must be neutral, objective, and unbiased. Uh, I think the qualitative and the quantitative uh, people that we have here. Definitely, I know uh, there is no issue of bias because we are here is full of talented and the intellectual people that we can see. Um, the next one is that the audience should listen carefully and not interfere or cheer the contestants while making presentations. Uh, we have to listen, uh, to listen attentively, uh, at least we, so that we can grab the points. And from there, we know exactly where is our target and what is the direction we are supposed to follow. And I think it's when we listen attentively that we can grab exactly who the main point that we are here. And again, uh, chairing, we know definitely we we'll have we we'll hear something that will interest our minds and our soul. But definitely for the respect, everybody and all the contestants is you know we are supposed to not cheer, at least maybe after the debate, you can go out and meet the contestant and say, I cheer you for what you, 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 you say here. And the last one I think is the, uh, the moderator will have the power to sanction everybody. So now I am the chief referee of this, uh, like a football match, no? Yes, I can send anybody, including the, you know, referee have the power to even send even uh, those uh, supporters out of the stadium. So now I can send you out from here. Or well, I will find you, maybe with the situation of, you know, what I already said, I can say 5,000, maybe 5,000, and I will put it inside my pocket. <laughs> so, uh, I think, then uh, concerning the phone, uh, Mustafa already discussed the issue of phone, please, and please, uh, try to put our phone on silent so that we can make progress. You know, there's one thing with phone, the more it rings, whether the ringing it is a prayer or something, but it attracts, people from what is on ground. So please, let's respect this rules and regulation and put our phone on silent or put it off. And you know, when you see the turn, I is not about to be like you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this is our rules of engagement for today. I think by, without not wasting much of our time, um, we are supposed to invite the contestants of this House of Representatives. This House of Representatives, we are expecting each one of them. Uh, I'm very sorry to take you too much of my information, but looking, we are all youths, majority of us here. Even Turner himself is a youth now. Yes, there's a situation we have, there's a, especially for democracy that is going on in Nigeria, we realize that at least somebody need to address his own point, his own agenda for what he want to achieve if he became or he occupied this position. So now we want to invite the contestants to come to the board in order to... I have 10 here. I think uh, we have this review. So we have uh, 
10 contestants of this House of Representatives, I would like to invite those that we have contact with them, we've contacted them, and some of them are here, and I don't know if some of them have representatives. Mm. So I have 10 here, so I will call all the names. So anybody that is around here will be here. Number one among the list, we have Salis Muhammad of the Accord Party. <laughs> this is alphabetically according to the word. So Accord is number one, Salis Muhammad. This time around, so we have you to almost everywhere. I think we are making progress. You know we represent almost 70% of the Nigerian population. I think we are supposed to represent ourselves everywhere. Yes. Then the next, I have Service Hero Essency of APC. Okay, sorry. Okay. The next is Ibrahim Abdullahi of JMPP. This is not him. I have Hafsat Ibrahim of UPC. I have Kabir Marco of ADC. I have Amido Ahmed Chindo of PDP. I have Suraj Salisu of PPN, then Ali Musa NRM, Umar Farouk Yakubu, ANRP, Then the last among the list, uh, I think I have the Hanajine Gabo of Pito. So out of 10, now we have 30 at hand. You can see we are having a... Evidence of peace is why we are all House of Learners in Gazina and why are we running this program in English? We gave him a simple answer. I think Mr. Fajr gave him a simple answer that there is no house in House of <coughs> Representatives in the Green Chamber. If it is Gazina, the Constitution allowed, maybe State House, but for the House of Reps, the language is English. That is why we have to engage them in English. Mm, yes. So, can we start? I had a degree. I have my degree. 
and master degree in international studies. That's BSc international studies and master of international affairs and diplomacy from Abu Dhabi University in Zaria. So I I caught across different organizations that are championing those movements in Kassena, like Kassena State's Social Media Forum and the chairman of the organization. I'm also the secretary of Kassena Youth Enlightenment uh, Initiative. I'm also uh, the secretary of of Yes Youth, Youth Enlightenment and Social Justice Foundation. I'm always the secretary of KISA, uh, uh, Youth Support Against Deforestation. We did a lot of struggle to ensure our TV news become protected in the state. We know we can never fold our hands, we can advance that. That, that, are tear, uh, that are trying to tear apart our society by not making them productive. That's why during the, the era of Hiroshima, yeah. when the government at that time almost uh, retrenched 3,500 3, TV news in the state from civil service from the 34 local government. We stand with them. We fought against that injustice to the extent that we pay for the price. I was the only person in the state under the Casino State Youth Empowerment Initiative where I was the chairman of the association stand against this all the progress or all development. We wrote a petition against Governor Shema on it. And also around 2011 or 2012, 2011 also, there was a time the registration fees, the registration fees of Eradua University was hiked. It was hiked by Governor Shema to the extent that it, it passed on what they want and what they don't want. That's why when I get to the power, when I get to the mantle of the leadership, by God's grace, we are going to we are going to make an election from the 281 polling unit to give us a representative, at least a one person, woman or man, one person that we are going to sit and del deliberate extensively on any issue concerning with Kazana. We can never pass any, we can never make any law or pass any law unless it accommodates the interests and the religion of our people here in Kassena. We can never engage in anything that they don't want, most especially in our budget, in our uh, constituency, in, in the funding that we are going to be having time to time. We are going to consult extensively our people on how we are going to spend the money, how we are going to use it, what they want and what they don't want because we lost representation. There is nothing like representation. Uh, most likely, people are saying, we'll be going there to make laws. I'm not going there to make law. Yes, I say it. I'm not going there to make law. I'm going there to, prevent my, to represent my people. If they want, I will not engage in any making law unless it is, it is going to accommodate, as I, as, as, as I said earlier, it is going to accommodate the religion, the tradition, and the interest of the uh, people in the Kassena Central Federal Constituency. Uh, uh, so in a nutshell, we are here just to represent our people. We are not we are not we'll not be going there to represent ourselves. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Salus Mohammed from Upper Kaji. Uh, in brief, before going to the next uh, contestants, uh, in brief, this is the government uh, about Madam Salus Mohammed. He's from Kasna, and he had a diploma.
in Katsina. I don't know, you, know, you didn't tell us diploma in Hausa. Diploma in Hausa uh, here in Katsina before he joined National Population Commission uh, as an ad hoc staff. He teaches at different, he teaches at different uh, private schools in Katsina before joining uh, Katsina State uh, Subir. Uh, he was posted at Savwa local government, uh, where he had the opportunity for his uh, BSc and Masters in International Affairs and Diplomacy. He was, he, even now, not only was, he was on social media all the times, he participated in different activities in social media. Uh, Salusu is a secretary of different organizations like um, Katuna Enlightenment Initiative, uh, secretary again in youth enlightenment and social justice, Katuna Youth Against Deforestation, and he participated in the fight against the injustice on retrenching the uh, workers in Katuna State, and again all development and petition against the government. He participated. Distinguished guests, the media, and uh, as well as our audience, it's nice to have you in this August gathering. I am Umar Faruk Yakubu. I was born on 19th September 1983 at Ufarbaik, Katsina State. And uh, I attended Kailo Primary School, after which I proceeded to Government College, Katsina. After which I proceeded to Federal College of Education area where I obtained my NCE and uh, I joined the Amadeo University area where I studied law and uh, I proceeded to Nigerian Law School Lagos where I come to realize I was enrolled into the Nigerian Bar as a lawyer and uh, I served with uh, Nigerian Navy Provost and Regulation School Makodi that's uh, naval officers where I was an instructor to both, to both uh, officers and uh, other, other ranks where I taught law, particularly constitutional law. And uh, of course, during my days as a student, I was a student junior leader. At different times, I was a president of Student Human Rights School of Abuse Area, and uh, I was the chairman of IELCOM, because uh, State Students Association, and uh, I was a uh, city state chairman of Katsuna uh, State Students Association in chapter. And of course, I led to I led amalgamation of uh, of uh, Congo and Samoa chapter. And uh, 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 it's of course it becomes necessary to for me to sit here that uh, Alhamdulillah I am aspiring to be member House of Representatives. Representing Katsina Vera constituency under the platform of Abundant Nigeria Renewal Party, ANRP. And uh, I think that this is much about me. And of course, I'm aspiring to be a member of House of Representatives. Reason being that uh, we have challenges that are obvious to all of us. And one of the things that not just in Katsina, local government, Bukasana State, or Northern Nigeria, the whole of the country, the issue of education, education, education. That was what led me to like come out and say that let me give my quota to my people as Christian. It's unfortunate at this hour of the day that we have people who have graduated or who have graduated from secondary school cannot write a formal letter. This is the purpose why I say that definitely I have to do something about this. And of course, at my level, I'm doing it. As in, yes, we are, we are doing much, for example, to like support the, the, the children that come from the less English homes to go back to school. We support other people, you know, like the imaginary, uh, imaginary students, I mean, imaginary kids who are on the streets at different times, we are helping them to go back to school. This is the purpose for which I am colleges, and this is the purpose for which I am Tend to be held and controlled anytime, any moment. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I work with Jai Strachan. I forgot to, to mention this. I work with Jai Strachan and the Learn Foundation as a company secretary, being an advisor. And of course, I was the company secretary of uh, Jai Strachan Insurance PLC. Of course, I'm going to engage in lawmaking because the primary process of why you are a member of House of Representatives is 
have to make loss. And then here yeah, I have to be very serious and mindful of the kind of loss we'll be making. Why? Because of course Allah says that in different, different times that those people who make loss that goes against the laws of the Quran and the Hadith Fasiqun and Kafir Fasalim. And of course we are not going to be Zalim, Fasiqun and Kafir. But who make loss, inshallah, who make loss, for example, that will bring the benefit and of course uh, uh, empower our people better. Um, yeah. Sorry, I didn't complain to you when he, uh, he was making introduction in five minutes. Time off. He didn't say that he should continue. He should still be my ass, please. And I seek protection from him, please. Uh, 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 just as I said, this is one of the, the, the purpose of the issue of education. That's the first step. And then, of course, we're talking about quality representation, oversight functions. Of course, we know that there are better laws that are being passed virtually every day. And while, uh, for example, let me give you an example. On 5th December, there was this bill that was introduced at the National Assembly, particularly House of Representatives. The, issue, the bill was talking about the public servants, civil servants, who are appointees of government, should enroll their kids in public schools. And when that bill was read, the girl said that that bill should be set aside. That is the speaker said the bill should be set aside. Why? Because he knows, and most of the elites knew that if the children of the masses will have the benefit of having the quality of education, inshallah, we hope and pray that about 80 to 90 percent of our problems will be gone. And the issue of do what you want, you know, uh, will come to an end. Why? Because, for example, the masses have known what they are doing by having the quality of education. And then, of course, we're going to empower our women, our youths, inshallah, from all the uh, uh, words that we have in Katsuna, Katsuna local government. For example, in 12 words, we have about uh, yes, we have 12 words in Katsuna local government. What you tend to do is that, yes, I seek protection. <laughs> when, when, he, when he was just making an introduction, when he said five minutes time, he said that he should continue. No, yes, it, no. he already said time, so time since five minutes back. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> thank you. Let me uh, just how many seconds? <laughs> so, who will take representation from each was what we will ensure that we empower women and those from each and every was on that local government. And we shall ask that was going to be there. And of course, we will be transparent and accountable to our people. We don't know what you are, what you are, what you've been doing in politics, for example. How many of us have been passed? What are the things we need to do for our government? And what are the achievements that we hope to take our government will bring to us? Thank you very much. Thank you, Father. Um, Father Farouk, you are of the NRB. So maybe the timekeeper will, will shout much so that everybody will hear. <laughs> um, about Umar Farouk, you are of the NRB, contesting for Kasna uh, Local Government House of Representatives. Um, uh, he's from Ofar Bay, Kasna. He attended FCE Zaria, have NCE there, and NCE in what? NC in social studies. Then he proceeded to AB Uzaria for law, and after he graduated, he went to Nigerian Law School, Lagos, and now he's a lawyer. Barrister, Yes. And he served uh, as an instructor to offices and taught constitutional law. Uh, was the company secretary legal and observations and uh, suggestions to you, which I believe will go a long way. Sorry for interjecting, Mr. Honorable Member, that is supposed to speak after the last member. My, is my essence of me being here, honestly, is to tell you that you are on the right course. What you are doing. Is what has been lacking in this country for quite a long time. You have been lacking behind because of so many things that you fear. Maybe I don't have money, maybe I don't have a good father, maybe I don't have influence, maybe I do this and that. That should not deter you to do what is right for this country. This country needs you badly. It has gone to an extent that 
if we didn't do it now, honestly speaking, I'm sorry, there will be no time for us again. Please and please, I urge you to support each other. Don't mind from wherever he comes from. What is important is know the person that you are going to send there. Know that he is truly a good representative. Forget about wherever he comes from. Forget about that. What is important is his quality. His personal quality, what he can do. And you should shun envy. And whoever Allah has, has given the privilege to represent the people, he should not rob his friends, his comrades that has taken him there. The attitude of the youth of these days, uh, once he has reached a certain stage, the next day he will change his friends. He will change his, even his relations. Even those that, those that were telling him, this, don't do this and that, they will become his enemy. You have to support each other in whatever circumstances you find yourselves. You have to be realistic and you have to be honest. This things, anybody who has guided against so many vices that are going now, honestly speaking, in this country will succeed. I'm behind you. Call me anytime you want. Tell me what you want me to do for you. Wherever you cannot speak, tell me I'll speak for you. Thank you, <laughs> 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 thank you very much, sir, for this kind of suggestion and contribution. That we always said, you are the. of the People's First Party. Even if there is no party there, but it is a party. Yes. What is our I was in the line, Samuel Ali, Hashelah, who is in the line, who is in the line, who is in the Chief Moderator, Chairman Hynek, White Hand, guests, journalists, all, you are welcome to this important event. Uh, I'm sorry for standing before you because a member of our House of Representatives is supposed to stand for your right. Uh, and uh, let me start by introducing myself. My name I am Lahajin Gambo. I did all my educational studies here in Kapsina. I am at in my UG1 as best political student in political science. So many things I encountered in politics. I thank God for giving me this opportunity. Behind every success in politics is people. We know we are in the era of democracy and it is defined by former president of America, Abraham Lincoln, where he says, democracy is the people, is the government of the people, for the people and by the people. So even by our stand here, you can agree, at least 10 members were invited, but uh, I'm not going to say I'm biased, but you see, you see, we honored your invitation. It's a kind of respect we have for you. We thank you for organizing this vital and important event, and we try by all means, inshallah, to represent you under any cost. Moreover, I'm a student of economics. We are in the era of economic meltdown. Popularly known in terms of education anywhere, even the my Thomas Lee, let me Thomas Lee, the Masanun Kanu, he said, 
he borrowed this title from Katsina. So Katsina is a home of education. So people of Katsina are people of good background, are people of educational background, that you need to send somebody who is going to represent you from all angles. I can remember in the first there was a senator called Senator Katsina Baturaji. So we don't want to repeat that in Katsina. It's a, it's a shameful, it's a slap on our face. You know, Katsina is a home of prominent politicians that Omoro Musa University is from Katsina. I think Katsina politically is one of the luckiest states in Nigeria. How many presidents? How many speakers? How many recognized hosts and politicians that came from Katsina? So being myself, inshallah, I hope, and I am seeing myself, inshallah, in the House of Assembly, inshallah, when they are 2019, inshallah, I promise you, inshallah, we will take every single step to ensure an equivalent environment. An equivalent environment in the sense that where the people of Barcelona are not going to be looking for opportunities from common work, they will stand on their own. They will be given kind of soft loans. They will be given kind of quality education. Where they, even when you ask them to come and be recruited in government office, they will say no. They won't stand on their own. Because I think about 80 to 90 percent of the richest people in the country, you see, they are not civil servant. So I'm assuring you that, inshallah, we are going to pass important laws that will be very favorable to you. And if you give me your support, I will not let you down. I will make you this opportunity, inshallah, to bring Katsina one of the most economically vibrant that ever produced in Nigeria. So I thank you for giving me this awesome opportunity. The time given to me five minutes, I'm working with it. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. Thank you very much to uh, Zahanadji and all of the for the candidate of ANRB, you said that you read law. As you said you have read law, have you been called to bar number one? Because we have seen we are seeing posters with Paris Paris. Then the second question that I have for you is what? No, you have only one for you. Only one for you? Yes, one for the other. Okay, for the candidate of uh, Apple Pipe, you said that uh, those people that were served during uh, Shiva's uh, era, you have paid for them. How? Then for the last, uh, for the People Trust uh, candidates, you said that you are going for education. How are your blueprints? Because you just mentioned education. Some have said they are, you mentioned their blueprints. We don't know who you Thank you very much. My name is Ivan Tani, Professor Lee, My question goes to the ANRD candidate. You talk about all you concentrate on education. For you, very recent. It's another contestant. In short, we are preparing to do it for the last stage, but I don't think it will be in 2015 for the president. But we have that vision and we want to achieve that mission, inshallah. Like we told you, President Great Group is a non partisan, non profit, just non governmental. And the main purpose and reason is that we are all customer indigenous. I am proud to be Pakistan everywhere I find myself, like all of you, I, I know you know that Pakistan Mochong always is Pakistan everywhere in any place. So we want to have a better Pakistan. We want to have a better Nigeria. We can achieve better Nigeria through better Pakistan. You all know who are Pakistan people everywhere in the world. Yes. Yes. Let me just share you with just very little story. Uh, my friend, Yaji India, for a course. So he was tired, the Zamach came water. So what he did, he used to come out to Danzagaya. In Danzagaya, he just met Sayyagarupa, Angis Yuri, the Badawa, India, at Mumbai. Tcha, 
Then as well as Ekele Mutu Masi, Yemasa Hauza. This is the second case. Then, she was like, I came out of the chat, 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 I came out of the chat. She came out of the chat, she came out of the chat. Saya cuma bayar sesiapa. Eh, tak boleh jahat lagi. Ia cuma lain yang kesan ini. Kesan ini aja. Ini mana kesan ini? Ya, aje kesan ini cuma lain yang kau dengar tu. So dia ada. Kau dengar tu? India atau China? Siapa yang macam mana cari? Ia cuma ibu sih kerana sesuatu yang sih. Ina ni jadi semua barang kita ramah kawan kita. Ia ni semua kuku. Ia orang dari India. Kuma asyik ni India ke mana sih? Kau pergi dengan kawan ini. Malay macam kesan ini. Malay aku main aja ni. In short, he is always and proud to be a person. He is always and proud to be a person. He is trying to show you. What I'm trying to say here is that we want to have a better person. We are proud of ourselves. Wallahi, I want to see the man as well as our man. The Yehuda Mariwa. I can see the man. Yehuda Mariwa. We are not passing common. Some of the kuwa. What is the man? Because now we are kuwa. I will tell you what is here now. We are here. All we are doing here is that is why we invite you people. We want to have a better Kasana. We want to have a good representation. We want to Kasana to be better than any state in Nigeria, and we want Nigeria to be better than any country in this world. That is why Jordan name of Abu Kalifi, the Kalifi, Mutshid the Kasam Magaba, Mutshid the Alum Magaba. We can't rely. Mutshid Kome Monse Asi Amani. This debate, we have to organize it. Let's hear our contestants. You can see they are not afraid to come in front of you. Let me tell you, frankly speaking, one of my friends in the book, Wallahi, we have more than ten different media that are covering this live. Some Koba Laiba take it. Millions of people now are in Zoom. Some millions will come up and look. Millions will see it by tomorrow or next tomorrow. Millions of people, I assure you this. That if we can have millions of people watching this, then definitely we are doing something that is a responsibility of us. Yes. Now, let's take for example, next 2023, 20, if something comes on one you will definitely. We know vibrant, intelligent people are willing to come and contest and share their views and the ideas and what they want to achieve in life for Kasana. Not only for Kasana constituency, to be proud of Kasana and the country in general. So we thank you for coming and we assure you we have another package for you, inshallah. And take your time, have your preparation, inshallah, you will have your contestants and you will ask them and they will answer you so that you will know where our vote is going. Our vote is our vote. Vote don't want to go be money. It's not only ancient guy, it is to go be money. Because we know the value of voting and we know the value of voters' cut. By 2015, it shows in Nigeria that your voters' cut can change everything, including everything. Because it changes. Now, it is your own opinion, it is your own time, it is your own. In short, took Alibaji that gave us our decide. Tax is money, it's our money. Then we have a reason to ask them, what are you going to do there? Are you representing our interests? Are you the right choice? What is your target? Can I cast my vote over you? In Malaka Iaba, Malaka Iaba, a government chani, Kabada na enka, million chani to get a social media and other media houses. Then what is the importance of me giving you your vote? There is no point. Because now, in the second day, the impeachment process was yet to be Kasana is filled with mass enemy. Sakale, masters never amount to zabi. So I must masters. Doctors, doctors, can you see me shake the zabi? I can't even tell you the professors. In my own local government, I will feel last time months they have done the zabi. Doctors don't see me shake the zabi. I should put it in the market today. Even though this is the only person I am, but I am proud of my local government. Yes, because my own government is secret. I think that's why the government of Kasana is not secret. Can I? And what we are saying is that Nangaba Wallahi will be having a good representation more than any state in Nigeria. Because that is why we are organizing this. This is our own contribution we can make. But I can organize this debate. 
and Mustafa can do it. Mohadu, Muzomi, this is our contribution to Kasna. We invited you here, Kumaka Kukuzo, this is what you can contribute. You listen, you ask, and you share. We are making Kasna great, and we are making Kasna better, and Kasna will be best. This is my message, and inshallah, we have another package for you again. I will hand the microphone to Dr. Kavaluddin. Well, thank you very much. I remain Bashir Ibrahim Thank you very much uh, um, all the contestants, the moderator, the other all uh, gentlemen that are supposed to be here this uh, night to listen and engage our politicians or candidates as parents for the office of the uh, member of the Federal House of Representatives. We are not really sure what, uh, why other political parties actually doesn't show up, but um, it's actually a setback if we cannot um, talk to our, our, our aspirants as to the reason why they are aspiring to that political uh, office. I don't think um, uh, we are doing this in order to actually um, expose people or to expose any political party, because rather just to clarify who are we going to vote when, when, when uh, we go to our voting units. And we also want to make sure that we are not really going to actually vote for a negative um, presentation. So um, without much waste of time, I believe uh, we can go to the last item. Okay, so um, maybe, uh, okay, can we give to the Okay, I think I think we should hear from Aina. Yeah, Just one minute to say yeah, yeah. something about what happened here. I really appreciate the way you guys. Currently, we just finished um, actually um, recruiting 100 ad hoc staff that are going to do the, um, the election monitoring. So, may I invite Mustafa to also give his welcome? Ladies, I want to thank you very much for coming here. Yes, ladies. Yes. In absentia. Do you know why? Because we are going to invite this gentleman again because I receive a lot of query now on the platform. Actually, my work in the United Nations is to advocate for more girl spaces in all our Yes. So I, I am compelled to, on behalf of my own colleagues, 